Auckland Storm, why were we so unprepared? Aucklanders woke to 115,000 homes without power, trees down, roads closed and warnings not to drive unless necessary. Many were unprepared and left asking why they didn't know to expect such extensive damage, including a local politician who said the Met Service undercooked the storm. Hurricane force gusts and heavy rain lashed the city on Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning, bringing 110-150 kmh winds to the central city. But Met Service meteorologist Tom Adams said the warnings were there and they were out days prior to the event. A severe weather outlook warning of strong winds was put out on Friday, followed by a full severe weather warning issued on Monday morning, Adams said. From the heart of Auckland to your inbox, sign up for our email newsletter. There were severe thunderstorm warnings and watches in place across Auckland and the North Island on Tuesday, as well as strong wind watches. Short of going out at door, there's nothing more we could have done. The information was definitely out there. The fact it caught people unawares, that's probably because people have just been confused about where to find the warnings, or they were not reading them. Adam said Met Service. Com was the best place to check for weather warnings. A period of calm weather on Tuesday afternoon may have also given Aucklanders a false sense of security. A low pressure system crossed the country bringing thunderstorms and squalls to Auckland in the early afternoon. Then things eased off and the sun came out briefly, but the low center was yet to cross Auckland, bringing powerful winds, Adams said. On Tuesday, Stuff reported the worst of the winds would hit between 7 p.m. 12 a.m. Rodney local board member Cameron Brewer said residents were badly let down by weather forecasters. The Met Service really undercooked this storm. I've reviewed two nights of television weather forecasts and while a low was forecast, the extreme storm event that took place was not. Talk about the boy who cried wolf given all the days we were told to prepare for Cyclone Gita that never really eventuated. A number of things could have been saved with more warning about the storm, he said. I'm talking about the many trampolines that went flying, the commercial signs that were down, and the likes of outside furniture that was thrown around people's sections. Auckland Civil Defence and Emergency Management, NZTA, Auckland Council and Auckland Transport all issued warnings, advising people to tie down trampolines and outdoor furniture and to move pets indoors. 
Auckland Emergency Management Director John Dragicevich said he believed the organisation send out the appropriate messaging about what Aucklanders should expect from the storm. When asked about the council's response during a press conference on Wednesday afternoon, Dragicevich said it notified stakeholders and the public via social media as soon as it got news from Met Service. We rely on Met Service, who are our professional advisors and weather forecasters. We are not experts. Dragicevich said there was generally some uncertainty around weather events, but said Met Service couldn't have been clear about what was to come. Met Service made a prediction a mix of art and science and what followed closely resembled that. He said there would be some learnings from the way the storm was handled, but I believe our partners have done a fantastic job.